not right, is it? Alright, one sec. Okay, so, hey guys, um, this is Robin, over at Completely Whelmed, otherwise known as Feeling the Aster, and, uh, this is a Meet the Mun video, not a Robin video. Close enough, right? Uh, so, let's get this started. Uh, introduce yourself, name, age, okay, so, mostly answer to Robin, you are more than welcome to call me Robin. Um, my actual name is Brooke. I answer to Robin more often these days. Um, I'm 19, and I live in New York, not the city. Uh, when did you join Completely Whelmed? I was one of the original founding members, um, along with Pretty Bird Canary and Gotham's Protector. Um, there, the three of us are actually the only founding members left in the group. Why did you join? Um, originally, I actually go to school with our original Artemis. There's a little can in fact there. Um, and she was the founding moderator of the group. Um, and she was the reason that I got into Young Justice, or even comics in general, so, uh, she just approached me and asked if I'd like to join, uh, after introducing me to the show, and, I mean, I had no idea what I was doing, uh, this is actually the first group that I've ever joined, and here I am now running it, uh, so it's a little intimidating, but, yeah, I said why not, and here we are. Uh, why did you choose to be your specific character? Robin, out of any heroes, I mean, I was never really huge into comics when I was younger, um, but any time that it was ever brought up, I was always more of a Robin fan, uh, even when I didn't know that there was more than one. And now that I've completely educated myself on that, way past most people. Um, I can't really see myself as any other character. Uh, it just seems to fit. Uh, what do you bring to your specific character and how do you portray them? Um, I don't know if you've been on my blog. I'm assuming you have if you're watching this. Uh, but I have a huge list of headcanons, uh, which are a result of tons of hours upon hours upon hours spent, uh, researching my character. Um, what I mean by research is, you know, looking up the different timelines and some of the comic things, as well as, uh, really going in-depth and exploring his relationships with the other characters. Um, also reading a ton of, uh, Robin-related fanfiction and such, watching fan videos, um, there's a strong chance that I may or may not have Tumblr-stalked a lot of my followers, uh, and, you know, if you guys have written Robin fanfiction and, you know, uh, fan reactions and such, there's a very strong possibility that I've read it, um, and all of it just helps contribute to making my character more believable. Um, I really try to pay attention to, like, little, little details that make him seem more, you know, real. Uh, because, I mean, he's real to me. I don't know about you guys. Uh, who's your favorite person to interact with in character? I mean, the group in general is really awesome. These guys are just amazing our peers. Um, I would say my most quality uh, interaction is probably with Gotham's protector, Batman, uh, Kid Flash, Can't Stop the Wall Man, of course, uh, Zatanna, you know, talk backwards to me. Um, Red Arrow is also a really awesome new addition, and I'm really looking forward to working more with our Calder. Um, I know he's been a little inactive lately, but he's going to be 
fixing that soon. School has kind of gotten the best of a lot of us. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do when the group is being out of character? Oh, <laughs> the group out of character. We're a bunch of nut jobs, first of all. Um, so if you're intimidated by us and looking to apply, don't be because we are we just have a ton of fun together. Uh, we do think we watch movies together, uh, live stream every once in a while. We used to be based in Tiny Chat, um, so we would have these big webcam parties, but you know, I don't know if you've ever used Tiny Chat, but it likes to kick people out a lot, so that got to be too much. Um, we just have a lot of really awesome conversations and come up with a lot of fun stories uh, that make this group worthwhile. Uh, what's something we can expect to be RP'd in the near distant future? Um, right now, as a whole, the group is working towards Invasion, which uh, I, as Mod, have been carefully planning and working on. I actually need to finish reading through the Barbara Gordon applications tonight and uh, sending out messages for that. So if you applied, you'll be hearing from me. Um, so hopefully by my timeline and as long as everybody can, you know, work hard and stay active, um, we should actually be f up to the first episode of Invasion by about March. And on to other questions. which there's a bunch of them. Uh, who can be the most ridiculous out of character? Oh. Um, some of the best conversations happen, I mean, we're up all hours of the night. For whatever reason, none of us seem to be able to sleep. Um, I myself maintain a very Batman-like schedule in which I don't think I've gone to sleep before 3 o'clock in uh, quite a while. Um, but all of the best conversations always happen in the early hours of the morning or, you know, late hours of the night. The most ridiculous person that always seems to make me laugh um, until my sides hurt would have to be Wonder Woman. Uh, she's just an awesome person and uh, really, really fun to talk to. Uh, what has been your favorite plot so far? Ooh. <laughs> uh, being that I've been here from the beginning, you know, there's just so many of them. Um, hmm. I guess I should probably choose from the older times, older times, one of my favorite plots, I do have to say, um, was the Christmas ball when Wally and Artemis finally got together. Um, that was just a really fun plot. I mean, yes, Roy kind of got poisoned and, uh, things like that, but yeah, that was really awesome, as was, um, a lot of our Christmas stuff was a lot of fun. Uh, also, Robin's birthday was a pretty great RP when uh, he and Zatanna finally got together, despite Batman's initial uh, distraught attitude towards it. Uh, let's see. How hard is it being the Mon of CW? Oof. Um, I devote crazy amounts of hours to this group, um, more so than most, if I had to take a guess. Uh, I'm logged in from about, um, roughly 11 a.m. until about 3 the next morning. Uh, either from my phone or from my laptop, you know, I always keep, uh, the main page 
as up to date as possible um and i'm constantly checking for like you know messages or anything which is how i always manage to reply to you guys so quickly um i also am in charge of choosing the new applicants um to add to the group i'm the one who organizes the group rps um batman and i as well as some of our other members will brainstorm uh, plot lines. I have an entire list of those so that when we're online, you know, I can pick a time, pick a day, make sure everybody's online. Um, I have to message people if they're inactive. Um, I am always answering questions, you know, how do I reblog as text? How do, you know, are we allowed to do this RP? I am pretty much the deciding factor for the group, um, and I'm the one who makes it all happen, pretty much, which requires a lot of dedication um, and is a lot of responsibility as well. How obnoxious can all the other months be? Um, I, th I would say we're all equally obnoxious at some point. You know, obnoxious is a rather negative term for it, considering we all have a pretty good time, um, including myself. You know, there's definitely been nights where I'm just as insane as everybody else, but uh, it happens. What's the most ironic thing about or in your group? Um, irony. Interesting choice of words. Uh... I'd say the most ironic things, well, it used to be, um, you know, all of the actual canon things that come out of our characters, um, when we're not actually in character. For example, uh, with our original Artemis, me attending school, uh, at the same place that she does, which is obviously canon to the show, um, I'm also younger than she was. Uh, Wally, the other night, I posted the out-of-character chat. Um, Wally does appreciate food, like a speedster, talks fast, you know? Um, all of the crazy similarities between Robin and myself. Uh, there's a running joke in the group that there is no out-of-character for me. I'm just Robin all the time, uh, as is Batman. Batman is always Batman. You will never not see Batman on your screen. Um, yeah, that's about the best I can come up with. What is your favorite character besides Robin? Hmm. My favorite character on Young Justice? I'm a big fan of uh, Artemis, actually. I think she's a really strong character. Um, I was a little bit iffy on the beginning of Invasion. You know, it's a lot of extra work for us, obviously, as our peers. But um, they've slowly been working their way back up in quality. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Zatanna, obviously. You know, can't really hide that one. Uh, and also... Pretty big fan of the Flash as well. Uh, the Flash family is, I mean, they're the Flashes. I'm sure you all understand. Uh, where is the bromance? Okay, um, gonna be working on that soon. Uh, Wally's been really busy with school. I myself have been really busy with school. Um, but we do have plots planned, well, I have plots planned that I need to share with the group that will be happening, so bro force, keep an eye out for it, because we definitely need to bring in some more of that. Uh, you need to include Icicle Jr. in your plots too? Yes, we do have an Icicle Jr. RP here. Um, they have been MIA a little bit for a couple weeks now. Um, which I actually need to get on top of that. But we will be including more villains in our plots. Um, it all depends a lot on who can get online. 
So Clarion is on a lot, so there should be a Clarion RP soon. Uh, Poison Ivy recently has become a little bit inactive, but we'll be doing something with her as well. We need to finish up. Um, Joker's always an option. Bane is always an option. Uh, you know, it's whoever anyone feels comfortable RPing as for the night. So, for example, we don't have a Captain Cold RP here. If someone wants to try and RP that character, then we can do a plot, uh, c consistent with them. Uh, as a mod, how are you going to be integrating Invasion in, and what characters can we look forward to joining you guys in the near future? Okay, this is kind of a complicated explanation. Um, as for Invasion, I wrote out a big list of all of the things that need to happen, um, between now and I decided on March 20th was going to be invasion time. Um, so all of the characters that you see in the show now, Blue Beetle, Cassie, um, Barbara Gordon, Bart will be joining later, obviously, as he comes in in the show, but the most recent one that is going to be joining is uh, Batgirl. Well, Barbara Gordon and then morphing into Batgirl, followed by, I believe I wrote Tula, uh, because she does join the team for a little while, um, and we will be bringing in a Jason Todd soon, uh, so keep an eye out for those. Um, I mean, if you've read the tie-in comics, then you know that Blue Beetle is the newest member, and then prior to him, the newest was Cassie, so they'll be the ones that come in last. Um, but they will be showing up, and in order to integrate into Invasion, we'll be speeding things up a little bit, so rather than obviously taking five years to RP everything, I condensed it into about six months. So uh, there's going to be a lot happening over here, so keep an eye out for it. Uh, do you have a job or anything else like that, or do you get to cosplay and be awesome all the time? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm concentrated awesome the majority of the time, uh, but I actually used to have a job on top of this. I know I'm insane. Uh, this is pretty much, like, my job now, um, as well as taking cosplay commissions and such because I'm in between jobs at the moment. Um, I had a summer job and then was working on transferring departments and then that fell through, so now I'm currently unemployed. Uh, just kind of kind of sucks when you're in school. Um, there are expenses, obviously. I mean, going to, uh, to Comic-Con in a couple days. So definitely look for me there, uh, since I paid for that before the whole unemployment issue, and uh, if you guys want to order anything from me, I'm willing to make just about anything, uh, except for wigs. I'm not confident on my wig styling abilities yet, um, but yeah, if you want to order something, I'm here, just send something into my ask box, and uh, we'll work something out. Uh, okay. If the Bro Force had a theme song, what would it be? <laughs> uh, if the Bro Force had a theme song, I actually spoke to the Bro Force, uh, Red Arrow included in that, and we decided on this song. I don't know if any of you are Space Jam fans, but I was highly amused and uh, completely agree with that one. So, um, the other thing that I wanted to address is I know that uh, Can't Stop the Wallman has been getting a lot of anonymous messages lately that um, are attacking the Mun for RPing with our group and saying that they need to leave and such. That will not be tolerated. Um, I'm the moderator of this group. I 
chose to have her join the group, I RP with her on a regular basis, and she's a fantastic RPer, and you have absolutely zero right to tell anyone uh, in this group or otherwise what they can and cannot do. And if we didn't want her here, then that's for us to decide. Um, there's sometimes, as Red Arrow put it, there's sometimes inner democracy within the group uh, to make decisions on RPing plot lines or cons uh, constructive criticism, but I want to be perfectly clear when I say that your opinion is not included in that. Um, we are a closed group, which means we do not accept outside um, indie RPers, and if basically if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. And the unfollow button is right up in the top of your screen. So we're here to have fun um, and to interact together. Granted, it's public, it's on the internet, it's there for you to enjoy, but if you don't enjoy it, then you have no reason to stick around and put somebody down for that. Um, we, I mean, we're here for us. We're not here, yes, most of you enjoy our RPs and everything, and we do enjoy um, putting them out there for you to see, but if all you're going to do is send rude messages and hate mail, then what's the point? I mean, you're just wasting your time. And she already made it pretty clear that none of it's going to get published, so you're not going to be getting any attention. Uh, just move on, and we don't want you around if that's all you're going to do. Um, so, yeah. Anon hate? Bye. Um, last but not least, uh, I had a request to sing, which singing isn't really my forte. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I don't, I only sang in one of them for a reason. It didn't really count as singing. But, uh, yeah. Request to sing, um, I guess I can sing Call Me Maybe, since that's what everybody decided on. Um, <clears throat> so. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but I hack sensors, so call me maybe. Uh, that's about the closest to singing you're gonna get, and I'm aware that I was off-key and terrible, so, uh, there you go. Um, and I guess that's it. Let's, let's see, refresh the page real quick. Oh, just kidding. We have one more message here. Who's the funniest person in the group out of character? Ooh. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's go through the group roster here. Funniest person... That one's really difficult, actually. Um, I would say that it's a tie between Calder, who's hysterical, by the way, um, Wonder Woman, and Batman, because I don't know if you know this, but Batman tells a mean knock-knock joke. Um, but no, in all actuality, they are some of the most hysterical people I've ever met. Um, and if you ever get them to break character and talk to you, they will make you cry with laughter, because I know it's happened to me. Um, so I guess that's all of the messages we have here. I have a couple more, but I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be in character. So uh, I'll get back to those. Um, they're all anonymous, by the way, so I can't recognize you all by name. But, uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this is disgustingly long. And, uh, thanks for following. You know, you guys are awesome.
Uh, stay asterisk, as always. And uh, thank you for supporting Completely Whelmed.